you're going to take the beam and jaw A, and you're going to rotate jaw A like this, so the pointy little thing is at the bottom. You are going to tape your beam on the top here, okay? And you're going to make sure that it is lined up on the corner right there. So this corner and this corner are matching. So right there, right on the corner, like so. And you're going to put a piece of tape there. Take some tape. Tape it around. Make sure it doesn't move. And if it moves, just like mine did, just take your time when you tape it. Okay, so that's your first tape right there. And make sure that this lines up in the perfect corner. Just like so. If you fall behind, you can check out the YouTube video that's already posted on the modules. Uh, uh, Tuesday, I'm doing basically video number two, but I'm going to do it with you. So just like that. Okay. Now, beam two, I mean jaw two, um, we're not going to tape it down just yet, but I want to kind of show you like what it's going to look like. So it's going to be like this. And then you're going to have the above beam on the top, the below beam on the bottom of it to kind of like guide it. So your above beam and below beam are guiding your beam so it can measure, right? And we want to make sure that, you know, this corner and this, this bottom corners meet, right? Because this is where we actually measure from this bottom part. So you're above and you're below, right? And then your cross will actually be on the very, very top here, all the way on the cross, like so. Okay. So measure it like this, like put it all together without any tape right now. Make sure everything's kind of lined up. Your above bar beam, your below beam, just like this. Everything's lined up. Like so. And then you want this so that your beam still slides. You know, you don't want to push it all the way in too tight. Although I think you'll be fine. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you take that beam away and you're going to uh, tape the top beam. So I'm going to use some tape. And you're going to tape the top beam to jaw B. So all the way on the top, I'm going to attach my above beam to my jaw B. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm not checking the chat. I don't even know if anybody has posted anything. Speak up. So it's attached there. I'm going to add another piece of tape. To the sides. So my above beam is attached to my jaw. Okay, put back my big beam, okay, and then I'm going to put my below beam at the bottom, make sure it fits, and if I really look, you see how there's a space right there? I, I guess I measured wrong or I cut wrong, so I want to make sure your beam fits, your below beam, so I have it there. I have the above beam already taped down. My goal right now is to tape the below beam, but I'm going to kind of place it on there so I know exactly where to tape it down. So I'm kind of holding it, removing this, grabbing some tape. Don't move it. Try not to move it because wherever the below beam is, that's where you're going to tape it. And it might be a little bit off the jaw, but you know it's going to end up being perfect at the end. Put this tape. This is the ah, this is the most crucial part right here. Double check that your beam fits and it could still slide. Let's 
still slide. Okay. I'm going to add some more tape over here at the back. Add some extra tape on the edge. I'm just going to cut that part and that part off. And does my bean still kind of fit? It's like a puzzle. It's a little too tight. It should slide. It should be able to slide. Okay, should be able to slide. Okay, I'm gonna pause right there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line on your beam. Here, and watch what I do. And that's gonna be your zero. So at the very edge, I'm going to draw a line and that's going to be a zero. And then we're going to use our ruler and put it at zero. And then we're going to mark off where one centimeter is, which is 10 millimeters. And then we're going to mark off the two centimeters, which is 20 millimeters. And we're going to mark off the three, which is 30, the four, 40, 50, and 60. So I'll zoom it in. So I'm basically creating a ruler. So I marked off every centimeter, but it's actually 10 millimeters. So 10 millimeters. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And you can make these lines longer. I think it's gonna be, easy. It's gonna be useful later to make these lines longer. So now I'm improvising from the video. So I'm basically creating a ruler. I start from here from the zero, go all the way to 60. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a piece of paper from my corner, white piece of paper, and I'm going to wrap the below beam with this piece of paper. Wrap the below beam with this piece of paper. Um, I'm not loving what I'm seeing from the video and the copy that they were provided us. Oh, uh, just tape it on the back. Don't tape it on the front because I'm gonna have you write on it. I'll put a little tape on the back of the paper. So like this. So I can still write on this part. I taped it on the back. It's shiny on the back. I put a little piece of tape in there just to hold it down. So I'm going to pause right there so you can catch up. So do the rulers mark off centimeters and then put a little piece of tape at the bottom. I mean, a little piece of white paper here and you're going to write on this. So don't tape this yet. Okay. So now that we have that, I completely changed my mind. We're doing this. We're going to put the centimeters and it should match, right? Centimeters, 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way to 6 centimeters. Um, so funny. Yes. I can't find a picture. You can or you can't? I can't. Okay. So we're going to measure off. We're going to do the 5. Put a little line at the 5. Every little 5, put a little line. We're at least doing the 5s. Five 5s. Fives. Fives. We're going to do the fives. So what I just did is first I did the tens. 
And now I'm going to mark off where the fives are. We're, we're basically going to copy down the ruler. Now it might seem like, why? Well, it's a pretty cool little caliper you're going to have after this. And your engineers, you build and create. Okay, so those are my five. So now I have five millimeters, 10 millimeters, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 millimeters. So now we have 60 millimeters. So I expect you to take a picture at the end of the period, right? For those of you who don't submit a picture, I'm wondering, what are you doing right now? What are you doing that you're not doing what I'm asking you to do? All right. So now comes the awesome part, the one millimeters. So just like mark them off really so lightly. Keep going. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is going to hurt my eyes. Is there a better way to do this? <sighs> I'm sorry. This isn't what I expected. I apologize. Guess who you can blame? Don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up, don't give up. Don't give up, don't give up. Okay, so what I did was I literally marked off every millimeter, every tiny millimeter, every tiny millimeter. And there should be four little lines in between your fives. Oh my God. It's fine. I take a two-minute break. So that was a two-minute brain break. Okay, what you're gonna do, the last step in the taping process, is your across bar needs to be taped here, and but don't tape it to the beam because your beam has to still move. So your across bar is gonna be um, taped only to the above and below bar. Right, so it goes across, but don't tape it down to your beam because you still want your beam to be be able to move. So I'm gonna take a couple pieces of tape and you're going to tape the across bar on the top. And the across bar at the bottom, but not to the beam itself. You have any excess tape, just cut that piece off. So this is a completed caliper. So you're just going to move it left to right. Oopsie. Make it stay. Just like so. And there you have it.